What's going on everyone? My name is Ethan and welcome back to the channel. Today guys, I'm going to give you my tips and tricks, the things you must know how to do to make money in Adopt Me. Now, some of these will not apply to you veterans out there. You'll already know what you're doing. And some of you guys who are brand new to the game, all of these things are going to help you. Some of them are free to play. Some of them could be made easier with pay to win. And of course, ignore the fact that I'm poor right now. I've spent a lot of my money on the Aussie egg, okay? Forgive me. I know it doesn't set a good premise for today's video. Of course, leave a like as well and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Let's get right into it. I'm doing my school right now. First, must know tip and or trick. If you are brand new to the game and you don't know this, the most effective way to make money totally solo is if you are a baby and you also have a pet with you. This will give you double tasks. For example, both me, Magic Bus YT, and the Aussie Egg need to do school, which means the reward of 12 bucks, I'm going to get paid twice because there are two people completing it. This is the most simple and must know tactic of them all, which is why it is in the beginning. Double your money by being a baby and having a pet out. Don't be a parent with a pet and don't be a baby if you don't got a pet. My next tip involves all of the free things that are available to you in the game. We're currently here at the school in the first room on your right. Everybody should know about pet trainer Shane with the four beds here. There are three different food bowls, three different watering bowls, and of course, if you also need food for yourself, there is an apple here you can collect for free Carry it around with you because you can feed your pet this apple and you can feed yourself this apple in order to meet your own needs. So to quickly recap, this room gives you food, water, and a bed. So sleep for your pet and you as a baby can also sleep in these beds, fulfilling that need. The next one that is a little bit more difficult but works really well on public servers or private servers with your friends if one of you owns the lemonade stand, whenever your character gets thirsty, it's actually pretty expensive to go into the baby shop and buy a bottle for $4. You're only profiting $2 because you only get paid 6 right? But if you've got a friend or if you're in a good server, you'll often find people with their lemonade stand out. And if they've set their price to 1 that means that when you drink, you will profit $5 or 5 bucks. This is the most efficient way or the best way to fulfill your baby's drinking needs. It's not really worth it if you can't find one. I mean, I often just don't do it because it's only six bucks. You can just focus on doing everything else. But if there is someone on your service selling lemonade for one or two bucks, then go ahead and fulfill your thirst need because every little bit that you make obviously adds up at the end of your grinding session, making you a rich boy or girl. Showering is also another need that both of you will get at the exact same time. Now, I can not find a free place to shower, but there are some ways to fast track this. If you're totally free to play, what you're going to want to do is join a server and check the premium plot right here. If somebody has put their house down, please ignore my ugly starter house. You can always check these houses to see if they're open. If they're unlocked, you'll be able to go in and use their facilities. You're mostly just looking for a shower in here, which is pretty much why I've got the basic house, but I've added a second shower. This way I can throw the egg in and me in at the same time. The more efficient you are with completing these needs, the more they're going to pop back up. So hopefully you'll be able to find a server with a premium plot that allows you to access their shower. Which is cheaper of the two if you're gonna get them for yourself? Premium plot, I think, was like 600 Robux. Let's confirm that. So 450 Robux to put your house here. Now, if you don't have that kind of money, there is a cheaper way to do it with Robux, which is, of course, the magic door. 150 Robux, I believe, is what this is worth, and it will teleport you to your house. But again, you don't need either of these things if your friend has a premium plot or if you can find a public server that has a house set up here that allows people to enter it and use the showers. If not, I mean, if you've got a car or if you've got a pet you can ride, it is still worth it to make the trip into town. You can see it like, just straight over the bridge there and hopefully get your house near the entrance. It's definitely still worth it to make that money, but there is a faster way to do it, which is, of course, premium plot, magic door, or a friend who has a premium plot. Continuing on with the theme of teleporting from the magic door, it is also important to know the teleports that are available 
available to you for totally for free. For example, the Aussie egg button right here on the side will teleport you straight to the gumball machine if you want to buy another Aussie egg or whichever egg is in the gumball machine at the time. This also allows you to fulfill your pet's water needs, I believe. So this is right here on top of that teleport. But of course, when there isn't a new egg available and this button isn't here, you can of course go into your pet section, click the get more button, and this will teleport you to the nursery. So we're just outside the pets being right here. There are other effective teleports you can use to get around a little bit faster as well. I use the gift teleport all the time. If I'm at my house and I need to get back, gift teleport puts you right here, which means hospital is here. And of course, the school is right there for all your other free things. So my pet, my egg is hungry. I could just teleport to the gifts from my house or wherever I am and run straight over there and get free food. Or if it needs a drink or if I need a drink, sorry, I can come and check for somebody's lemonade stand, so on and so on. Really easy to do. Also, of course, if you're on the move and you don't want to teleport back, you can always just click feed and all those extra apples you picked up, he can just eat them. Also great if you don't want to leave the area that you're in. Another useful teleport is the vehicles button. So if we teleport to the vehicles showroom and then walk back outside, we're closer to the playground than if we teleported to the gift section. We're only just closer. It's not that big of a difference. But if you're rushing around, maybe you didn't realize the playground task was there and you need to very quickly get over here. That's the fastest way to do it is to teleport to the showroom and then run over here. There are other really powerful teleports you can use as well. If you're in a large family, you'll have the ability to teleport to somebody. I actually thought it would be a great idea to show you guys exactly how this functions. So if you are in a family, you can create a family and then invite somebody. Obviously, I'm running a second account right now, so forgive me if anything lags. And then no matter where you are in the world, you can teleport to that person in your family. Like so, I just press go and I'm back here. Likewise, with a friend, you can also do this without being in a family. So if you're playing on a server with all of your friends, you can teleport them totally for free. You don't even need to be in a family. So both of those options are really powerful for getting around the world. I've used them in the past where I log in on a couple of different accounts and I leave one at the camping site, I leave one at the playground, and then say I get a need that like, let's go camping, I just go to my list, pick the guy who I know is at camping, and then I teleport to the camping ground. Really easy way to fulfill your needs. Hey, we can hatch this egg on camera. Give me a legendary to celebrate the tips and tricks video. Oh, I finally got the common bandicoot. Okay, I'll take that, whatever. At the beginning of today's video, I mentioned that the best way for you to make money on your own is to be a baby and have a pet out so you get double needs. Now, if you have the ability to log into two accounts, if that means two devices or if it means using a program called Multiblock, this one right here, multiple game instances, it's not called Multiblock. I don't know why I made that name up. This program is 100% safe to use. I've used it myself for a very long time. You can log into two accounts on the same computer, or actually, I often log into three or four. You can log into multiple accounts, depending how many accounts you have. This gives you the opportunity to do three needs at a time instead of two, which would be triple your earnings instead of just double. Let me show you how this works. First, on our second account here, which is the baby, Big Bubble Boy, we're going to get out one of our pets. So I have been raising a koala. Then on my main account, I am also going to get out a koala that I have been raising because I want to make a neon. And then for $125 in the baby store, you can get a stroller, right? Put koala one, koala two into your stroller and then pick up the baby. You're now carrying three creatures, which means when they all get a need, these will stack up to three. Right now, if I can find food, drink, or take Big Bubble Boy to school, I can make a little bit of money off him. We're going to explain that in a moment. First, I have to break everything that I've just done. Let's go ahead and put out our lemonade stand here really quickly. Set the price to one so I can show you guys something really interesting that you can do. We jump on our other account and buy a bunch of lemonade. This way I can fulfill my own thirst needs without having to put myself down on the magic bus account. Okay, so now if I get out my stroller again, and I'm terribly sorry if this is a little bit difficult to follow. I pick up my two koalas, put him in my arms, pick up the two koalas. You can see that Big Bubble Boy is thirsty. If I go on my alt onto Big Bubble Boy go to the food section, get out a lemonade, and then I drink it. You guys can't see this, but I'm going to drink and fill, and both of my accounts are going to get paid 
six bucks for this, okay? So as you can see, money just went up on Big Bubble Boy, but money- Oh, you guys can't see that it went up on Big Bubble Boy. Big Bubble Boy went up by six, Magic Bus also went up by six, okay? This allows you to basically get paid double every time the baby in your arms, every time their needs are met, because it's your alt account, right? So this also means that Every time I earn, I think I figured out that I earn about two and a half eggs on Magic Bus in the same amount of time that I earn one egg on my alt account. Every time Big Bubble Boy earns an egg, however long that takes, I earn two and a half on Magic Bus, which is three and a half in total, okay? So as you'll see in a moment here, my Magic Bus's money will go up. It's 2,975, it's gone up to 2987 and my old account big bubble boy also gained money so this lets you do some really cool stuff because you can earn 3x money instead of just two so if you do have an alt account and a double stroller like this you can make more money per hour than you could on your own it is a little bit of a pain to set up but this is from what i can tell the best way to actively make money in the game. So I have one more tip for those of you who are using any device that can use an auto clicker, okay? On PC, super easy, get an auto clicker. It shouldn't be hard to find a safe one, just maybe watch some YouTube videos on a good one that you can download. This is something you can do if you're able to leave your computer on when you're away from home or if you're sleeping over nighttime. What you wanna do is come to the campgrounds, put your koala in bed, put you in bed, and then wait for your little 20 paycheck to pop up because that way you can set your mouse on the point where it would accept the $20 and then start your auto clicker, even if it just clicks every two seconds or something. This way, every time let's go camping or I need some sleep pops up, you will automatically start earning money from them. Every time the $20 paycheck pops up, your auto clicker will click it, you'll get your $20. And because you're clicking, you won't log out after 20 minutes. You can leave this going. If I leave this going overnight time, I typically make 2,500 to 3,000 bucks overnight without even playing the game. Roblox itself doesn't have any rules against auto clickers or alt accounts. I have not confirmed whether or not you're allowed to do this in Adopt Me or not. So you obviously do this at your own risk, but I have been doing this and it makes me 2,500 to 3,000 bucks every single night which means I don't have to grind as much. And as somebody who can't play all the time and doesn't have Robux, this is amazing for me. So look at the auto clicker and use this strategy if you're able to leave your device on overnight. Alrighty guys, that is all of my tips and tricks for today. These are things that I feel like you have to know. There are other methods in the game, but these are the must knows. If today's video helped you in any way, I would really appreciate it if you left a like and of course subscribe to the channel with that notification bell turned on, join the hashtag blue team. Leave a comment down below. And of course, guys, I will see you all tomorrow with a brand new video.